This is the brand new Panasonic Lumix S Pro 24-70mm f2.8 lens. Now this is this is a real workhorse of a lens. This is a real, a real pro lens, and I imagine it's a lens that a lot of people will be really excited about. A native 24-70 f2.8 lens. Four cameras like the Panasonic S1 and of course the S1R as well. Now I took it out with the S1R to really kind of test it out for photography and a bit of video as well. I love this focal range 24 to 70 is what i use pretty much all the time i find it perfect for a lot of different types of photography and a lot of different types of video as well obviously having that nice fast aperture f 2.8 allows you to get quite a lot of light into the lens and it also allows you to get a bit of bokeh in your shot as well a bit of out of focus elements which can look really really nice now i find the image quality of this lens to be to be particularly good i found it to be to be nice and sharp nice and detailed i really liked it now i was taking it out with the s1r so i really got to test out that resolution through the lens I thought it looked great. Now, the, the weather was a bit moody when I went out because it's British summer, so obviously it was overcast and raining and stuff like that. But actually, I was able to get some really nice photos. I took it to a variety of different places, did quite a bit of landscape and did some video as well. I was really impressed. Obviously, that focal range is perfect for kind of everyday use. It's just an absolute workhorse. You can go wide at 24, punch in at 70. You can do a bit of portraiture. You can do all kinds of things with a 24 to 70. But the image quality here, I thought was really nice. Sharp images, nice colors. I really like the colors you get with this. It's a pro lens. You know, it's f2.8, so you're letting lots of light in, so you get nice, bright images. But you're also getting a bit of bokeh as well if, you, if you're kind of framing things properly. It's, it's really nice. I like the detail in the shots. I just thought the image quality looked really good. It's exactly what I'd want from a 24 to 70. Nice, sharp, detailed images. Now the lens construction is, is 18 elements in 16 groups. So you've got three aspherical lenses, four ED lenses, and one UHR lens. And ultimately, I think that just contributes to that image quality. It just looks really, really good. You've also got 11 diaphragm blades. So you've got a circular aperture diaphragm. That helps the bokeh to be kind of nice and circular, nice and round. I think it looks really good. You've also got a pretty decent close focusing distance of 37 centimeters, which is which is nice. It's nice to be able to get in closer to your subjects and things like that. Now the lens itself, being one of the pro lenses, it is dust and splash resistant, which makes it great for taking out and about. If you're doing landscape or wildlife or anything like that, it's a, it's a great lens to take out and about with you in all kinds of weather. Now I can attest to that. It was raining when I was shooting. It would kind of on and off and there was lots of, lots of moisture in the air. The lens had no issue. I had no issue at all shooting those kinds of conditions. In terms of video, again, this is the perfect lens for me in terms of shooting video. I shoot most of my videos on a 24 to 70 f 2.8 because it does just allow you to isolate someone in the frame if you want to use that that maximum aperture of f 2.8. But it also allows you to get nice bright images as well in darker conditions. But that 24 to 70 zoom range is it's just perfect for video. It means you can go wide and get those those wider establishing shots, but you can punch in for some slightly more dramatic shots or slightly more important shots you might want to punch in and get that cinematic look so for me it is absolutely perfect so anyone using an s1 for video i think this is going to be an absolutely perfect lens for that kind of thing you've got a filter size of 82 millimeters so if you want to pop a polarizer or an nd filter on there you absolutely can and in terms of weight and size it's really not too bad it is a pro lens so it's not super light it weighs just under a kilogram it's about 935 grams for me the setup of the s1r plus this lens was absolutely fine i didn't have kind of any issues while out and about shooting with it and i was i was doing some serious trekking out in that rain so i i, I really feel like i got to test that out quite a bit uh, and that, that wasn't a problem to me at all. I think I think for the quality of the shots you can get, it's a great setup. It's a really, really nice setup. Now, for me, if you are someone who shoots landscape and portrait and all kinds of different stuff, photography-wise, this is a great lens to have. Pairing it with that S1R, I thought the images looked superb. I thought they were the just they were just really, really nice. And if you shoot video, so obviously Panasonic stuff, Lumix stuff. It's great for video. It's just so good. And the S1 is its just one of the better cameras I've used for video recently. Now, if you want to use this with video, I think that's perfect. 2470 to me, it's just an absolute, absolute dream to use. 
It's got all the kind of focal ranges that I would want to use. F2.8 is a nice fast aperture. I probably wouldn't shoot any any kind of larger aperture than that anyway for video because it starts to get a little bit difficult. Um, but I think I think for running and gunning, this is just this is a great lens. There's not a lot else to say to be honest. I think everyone probably knows about a 24 to 70 kind of lens. How it's an absolute workhorse. How it's it's just a great all rounder for all kinds of different stuff. There's absolutely nothing different here. Nice fast aperture, great focal range, perfect for video, perfect for photos. I thought it worked really well with the S1R, and it's nice to see this lens out for this system. I think. Uh, I think this this kind of this kind of lens was probably really needed for the S1 and the S1R. I think I think the L mount it kind of needed this lens, and uh, it's great to see Panasonic Lumix kind of committing and and bringing out these pro lenses. Now, if you have any questions about this lens at all, pop them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts as well, so get them down there as well. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe as well for more content because we've got loads of stuff all the time. I'll see you in the next video, and as always, thanks for watching.